All right, y'all. First quick rip of this on 6S. Won't do too much. I don't want to mess it up too much out here at the park. I probably should have went ahead and put that willy bar on, but. And check my diff oils. I probably could have been fine running this on 4S actually. Definitely has more than enough power on 6S. I might have these kids come over here. I don't know, I'm at the pause it probably for a minute. They're gonna be like, can I try it? I can try it. I can try it better than you. Watch me, let me try it. <laughs> And ran into a tree. <laughs> yeah, this thing's got plenty of power. The tires don't have the best grip, even though they are a soft compound. They probably should have put something with a deeper tread on here because the Shogun is the same way, too. And one good thing is, like I mentioned in the unboxing, I can turn the voltage up on this to go from six volts up to 7.4. Oh, gonna run right into that tree. <laughs> I should've just ran this on 4S. Because um, a faster servo would be good. And you can just turn the power up and of course increase your specs. The fan's gonna run a little bit um, faster on the speed control and everything, so. We don't crash in the tree trying to race those people. There is a bigger open area over there that I may take it to, but. Watch out for people walking over here too. One thing Team Crowley cars do have is speed, regardless of whatever. Um, and they're updating their vehicles now, so they will be a lot more durable than they were before. But the one thing they cars have is speed, I give them that. So Team Crowley, we are waiting for some on-road vehicles. The eight scale on-road, seven scale on-road. I think you should wait personally a little bit before you go into the seven scale and as, least as far as off-road and fifth scale market. Get your 10 scales down pretty good. Of course, you guys know there's links in the description where I got this from. Won't be any jumps or anything today. Unless I just continue to hit this curve down here, but. There we go, it's a little bump right there I might be able to get, but. So I think if you're new to this and you're gonna get one, you will be fine on 4S. And you can actually just go from a 13 to pinion gear to a 15 and you'll still be good because I believe uh, if I can recall these cars are about hear that thunder coming it's about the rain um, these cars are about in the mid 40s to high 40s stock out the box on 4s but we're gonna test that out tomorrow for our super speed Saturday test but I wanted to 
kind of break him in, get a little dirt on his on his jacket, get his shoes a little dirty. But we'll definitely get this out tomorrow and test this. And how about this? Should we test it with the spoon tomorrow or test the stock out the box? Normally when I do them, I do a stock out the box and then later I do a upgraded test. But you guys put in the comments. Um, I think stock out the box test will be fine first, but some people kind of want to see this with the spool in it, so. This does handle good though. Some minor adjustments, I think. Probably a more aggressive, truggy style compound tire. Maybe a faster servo. We'll be good. And yeah, this does look like the Vorza in a way, but this was out before that new Vorza came out, y'all. <laughs> so, who stole whose design? <laughs> this came out before the Vorza Truggy. Trying to get that full blast without running into a tree or anything. do one thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stand down here see if I can come down there hit this curve hit that going at a decent speed and make it without spinning or flipping out so let's see if we can get this going make sure I ain't kneeling down in no uh, doggy landmines all right let's see make sure nobody's coming yeah definitely do it So these tires are good for on road, which I know they are. Yeah, this would hug this. If this was a track, <laughs> we would definitely be hugging this. Except for right there, I was trying to showboat and spin out and it didn't work. All right, y'all, the sun just disappeared. <laughs> So it's about to rain in just a minute, but that's gonna be a first run. So I went ahead, I wanted to go ahead, kind of get this out and run it before I take it to my super speed Saturday. So I'll probably do a stock out the box. Then later on, uh, maybe that day or in the next couple of days, go ahead and run this again with the spool in it, and probably about an 18 2 pinion gear to see what kind of speed. I'm probably gonna definitely change out the tires because they'll probably balloon and be a soft compound. But we'll figure out out tomorrow when we get this running. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. <laughs>